775 to catch a little shade. Anyway, we are back at a familiar site. You'll, uh, if you've seen my videos, you've probably seen this site. It will look familiar as I walk around. Um, the customer enjoyed the first system. We had proposed doing what we're doing today up front, but it was uh, too much money up front. And we really hadn't established a relationship, so they were like, can you do half of it? And I said, yeah, this stuff's all scalable. So, and it is. So solar up, solar down, inverters, batteries. What's nice today, it is fairly scalable. It would have been easier to do it all at once, but it's not the end of the world to have to come back and add an array and uh, try to think ahead because I just, you kind of know based on the load profile of a site that they need, really want more power. So we make provision for our oversized conduits and and uh, oversized wiring troughs and make room for more batteries and and that's what we're doing. So we're doing phase two at this job, adding another array. It's, uh, I wanna say it's two years, not quite two years later. So uh, first array has been doing great with a Solark. We added another 12K outdoor unit. And then we're stepping up our switch gear to 200 amps, 4 aught SER cable, combining. And they could even go farther if they wanted. But for now, we are just uh, doubling the system. Hard to match panels, so I did match Q-cell at least, um, which is what was up front. So I gave them Q-cells, but they're getting by facials. And of course the panels are wider, so we compensated for that in the Sinclair ground mount. So when it's done from this angle, we shouldn't be able to tell much. Well, the panels are quite a bit different, but same manufacturer. And, uh, but it's what I had to do. It's hard to get panels today. And uh, that's it. So anyway, another a, a really nice site to work, except for the brutal heat. Got my son and uh, his friend for the summer and Daniel from Clemson and Willis and Wes are inside in the mech room. Um, this really, we could do that because of what planning ahead, we could really knock it out in two to three days. The post drove really nice. So here we go. And um, that's the closest matches I could get. These are Q-cell 400s. These are Q-cell bifacials. They're 415s. I still have to cut the ends off of the Sinclair to make it match, but those panels were a lot wider than these. But nobody's gonna notice when I get done with it. So we've doubled the, doubled the solar, doubled the inverter, and more than doubled the battery. So uh, we should be able to wrap it up. So, it is possible to do this stuff in, if you kill yourself, you can do it in two days, but if you don't kill yourself or your employees, you can do it in three. This, it might look familiar to you, but we've redone it. We've upgraded the system that was a single Solark with three batteries, 15 kilowatts. Now we have uh, 35 kilowatts of storage with the Arc Lithiums. We have two 12Ks put in a 200 amp bypass, basically upgrading everything to 200 amp, a 200 amp fusible disconnect on the outside. We had made a critical loads panel, we left that, and now we're just subfeeding the critical loads panel from the main panel that we are feeding through this J box from the inverter. We've got a grid uh, connection and we have a load connection. We use our 200 amp GE bypass and what we did at this time is we added the load output from the inverters and combined them on the lugs in this, saved a power distribution block. And then the grid connection, which is daisy chain from the fusible disconnect in here. And then it goes back to, we used a, it's been hard to get a power distribution blocks. So we actually use Polaris lugs, um, the insulated tap connector, connectors in the wiring trough. And then we're able to pop into both user wire user areas on the Solarks. So right now, just coming to commission, uh, you'll see 
When you get a software update from Solark, you'll see an up and an arrow in the packets it's downloading. So we made a plant that has both inverters on it and we are updating to make sure the software, the software really needs to be the same. They will parallel, but sometimes there's some glitching when they have different MCU versions, COM versions. So we wanna make sure that they're both uh, up, to, up to date. And this inverter had been here for about 10 months. So we started this project off with trying to convince the customer to let us just do this up front, but they weren't ready for the full system. So thankfully we were able to, it was large enough on, on phase one to be able to add the inverter, add the bypass, add the batteries. We took out all the EMT that we had, upsized all the wires for 200 amp service. And so we're good to go there. And fortunately we were able to pull in the other array because where the arrays are close on number 10 wire to the, the arrays. I'll show you where those are. So, and the other thing was, the fun part was is matching panels when it's almost a year later. Uh, I think I did pretty good. The ones in the back might be a little bit darker, <coughs> but they're, they're still the same brand, Q-cells, except the ones in the back are by facials. From this angle, you can't tell. So again, on two Sinclair fixed adjustable ground, not adjustable, fixed ground mounts. And um, so came out and pounded the post for that. So this one was put in a year ago. So all I needed to do when we added the new one is bring it over to the existing conduit and then pull that wire into this pull box and up and over to the inverters. So we're about 170 feet, so we use number 10. And so we are bringing in, I watched it yesterday, bringing in about 20 kilowatts and it's a 24, roughly 24 kilowatt system now and has no problem running the whole um, barn dominium. There's a apartment upstairs which has a geo, <clears throat> it's got a geothermal water furnace system, really nice system. They've had it in for years and there's a geothermal loop. One of my biggest fears was punching a hole through their geothermal loop. Thankfully, I didn't do that. Or there's no evidence of that and uh, so that's that's great I do check in a row spacing so there's no way the front array is going to shade the back array unless it was on the ocean but it's not gonna shade it here and I wanted to keep it tight because I wanted to stay out of the geothermal anyhow this is systems up and running cranking away we like these projects got plenty of land uh, <laughs> it's quiet and we just get to work so it's um, it was a fun project it cost a little bit more overall because we had to deploy twice, come back here, and instead of just building it the first time. But that's the way it goes. They did it in phases. And that, again, the beauty of these systems, they are scalable. I could add six more inverters to this place if they wanted. And again, we had, to, we had a 100 amp fusible disconnect out here last time. We've upgraded to the 200 amp. And we're, um, we already have an interconnection agreement with Duke Power, so we're selling power back when they're not here and keeping the place, you know, on the internet, uh, air conditioning, HVAC working, and that's it. So Elijah and I are just cleaning up today. Just uh, had an extra panel, pallet, battery boxes, junk. So we are, um, it's a wrap. So if you have any questions, a lot of people ask, can I scale? Yes, you can absolutely scale. You can scale the batteries, you can scale the inverters, you can scale the solar. So the systems today are very flexible for that, which I really appreciate, and so do the homeowners, because nobody ever asks for less power. They always want more. So, And this allows them, they could sub-feed to other buildings from either one of these panels. And uh, so plenty of power now that they have 75 amps continuous output, they can do a lot. So another cool installation, another uh, fun job, other than the heat, but uh, we're good to go. So I think that's it. If you need help with a project, or you know, we're doing a lot of DIYs through our consultation service, and just I try to keep my hands in, in the installation with the latest, greatest equipment, and that way I can just, uh, help you with your installation if you have any questions on how to do it different ways to do it so anyway another fun one another successful project 
If I can help you at all, just let us know via email. Just go to practicalpreppers.com. Thanks a lot. Engineer 775, signing out. Thank you.